yo, yo, yo. This is your boy Nightcrawler Ray Ray, aka the Rooster, aka your old school junkie, aka Mr. Tony. 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 Tony, 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 Tony. Tony vlogs, 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 vlogs. Now I'm back. And I'm black. I don't smoke crack. I don't get down like that. <laughs> but nah, man, uh, I'm back with another video. I'm currently here in Oklahoma City at my main house. Uh, I say my main house. It's, so if you're moving out of a house, is that your transition house or is it? officially moved all the way out. We're gonna keep this house and we are moving slash sister and my mom in, in Dallas. So yeah. So my main house is in Oklahoma City. And we are going to be staying off and on, put it that way, staying off and on with my mom and my sister in Dallas. I'm going back and forth. My wife is pretty much down there in Texas full time, just about. That's our call until we come up here. You see me. When I'm doing a uh, home time or 34 if I'm close by, whatever. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. That's just an introduction. How's that? That's just an introduction. Uh, like I said, I'm currently in Oklahoma City. I am uh, inside the truck with the vacuum. Cleaning it out for the week. This last, this last past week, I had my dog on here with me. And I wasn't expecting her to shed as bad as she has, as she did. So I got, I got dog fur pretty much everywhere, but she normally sat in the passenger seat. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, if I can show it to you. It's a constant. 
it's a constant uh, clean up. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm cleaning up the hair. I'm gonna take all my uh, my clothes and stuff out the truck bedding and stuff like that get that washed out because I got to leave out of here in the morning I have to be in um, El Paso so what I did I picked up in Guymon and instead of driving straight to El Paso I drove two hours two and a half hours to Oklahoma City just to stay home for the night it's Labor Day weekend so I didn't want to get down there too early and uh yeah, I should be down there by 7 o'clock Tuesday morning. And according to the GPS, it's only like 10 hours and 43 minutes. So I got 11 hours to run. So if I keep the doors closed, and um, I should be able to make it to uh, El Paso by tomorrow evening yep and uh yeah I would have been here yesterday but I was sitting at the shipper for 24 hours 24 hours at the shipper and I did book this load knowingly that I wasn't gonna get any detention. But I wasn't planning on staying at the shipper for no deck on 24 hours either. So that was a lesson learned right there. Don't book load no don't book no loads that don't come with detention. Because that's how they get you. Especially when you get up in the meat patch, like up in uh, liberal Kansas and Guyman and places like that. So, I got a trailer full of pork that was freshly slaughtered and packaged yesterday. So, it was all good. I mean, I didn't get twisted and tangled about it. I mean, it is what it is. I was like 16, 16 trucks behind, so I knew I was going to have to at least, at the minimum, 16 hours so that's how I judge it on my time that I'm going to be spending at a, uh, at a shipper is like I figure out how many trucks is ahead of me and I know it's going to take anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half for each truck so if I got 8 trucks ahead of me that means I'm going to be sitting and waiting for at least 8 hours before I can get into a spot. So, if I'm wrong, let me know. More than welcome to put it in the comments. I've been asking y'all to give me comments. I get some here and there. And uh, some of my videos, like I said before, that be getting anywhere from 75 to 80 likes, 35 likes, or what? I mean, not likes, but views. And uh, I'm quite sure that not everybody that's viewing is a subscriber. I mean, I'm still hitting that two, 250 subscribers. So, so we are on the road for 800 more by the end of the year. So, if you're watching this for the first time, and uh, you want to come along on this journey with me I mean as of right now all I, all I do is trucking stuff so that's what we got so those are us pretty much what the uh, what the videos is about and uh, I'll throw some stuff in there every once in a while I think I did one early this morning about not no about nine, about, uh, about maybe one or two this morning when I got in 
wired my dog was still I mean she's like that all day all night she's clingy can't go nowhere without her following me all through the house all day all night I get her out and I'll be throwing the ball to her and all that kind of stuff you know try to exert some of that energy put in training time as far as uh, obedience and stuff like that I pretty much got her on uh, doing her uh, bite work so the thing, that little toy that you saw her playing with in the uh, previous video was uh, the sleeve that she tore up so I gotta buy another sleeve and I eventually want to invest in me a bite suit and uh, teach her how to uh, bite on command. I mean, as far as attack, whoever I tell her to attack, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's coming. I'm trying. I'm doing all this on my own. This is my first time ever trying to train a dog. Period. But this particular, this this particular dog, I, I knew I had to because. She is a uh, she is a little alligator, and uh, she will get with it. So we got to put a put a little uh, training on her, just so that we can control her. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But yeah, man, that's what I'm doing. I think I had something else to say. Talk about. But as of right now, this is what I'm doing. I'm sitting at the house, uh, cleaning out my truck, getting ready for in the morning. We'll be leaving out here probably about maybe five, five in the morning. I drive my truck home and I park my uh, my trailer at the truck stop. had a half a half a tank of fuel when I parked it last night so it should be okay till in the morning I'll fuel up in the morning and I'm thinking about so I've never been to I never I never went straight to well have I said no I'm trying to think of if I've ever went straight from Oklahoma City to El Paso and which way did I take, which way was the best way. There's three ways that I can go. I can go 40 and then go down through New Mexico or I can take 44 and go through uh, Wichita Falls, Texas, hit the 20 and go south from there. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. Just take the 44 to the 44 to the 287, I believe, to the 20. That's probably the route I'm gonna take. And that'll put me somewhere like maybe down in like Abilene or I don't even think I'm gonna make it that far. Yeah. We'll be down there in, in, in the Southwest, somewhere over there. Um, Lubbock, somewhere like that. But anyway, I know I gotta get to the 20. So I'll, I'll take the 44 to the uh, 287. 287 to the 20. I can do that. Now, that's about 10 hours and 43 minutes. For you guys, I mean, I know I had I don't be posting all the time or frequently. That's just because it just don't really be too much of nothing to uh, too much of nothing to talk about. I don't want to bore nobody with the back, same old stuff. But 
yeah, I'm cleaning out all this hair, man, and um, I'm gonna think of a different way of setting up this seat to keep this all this um, fur from getting on my seat. I had her sitting on a, uh, a a little her little blanket, and I put a sheet up under that. So maybe if I tie the sheet around the seat, put some. Uh, Put some uh, some of those um, some of those uh, bed pads on the seat, so I won't she won't get no smell. Hey, my truck is not nasty. I'm not nasty, so we ain't gonna be nasty. You know, feel what I'm saying? So anyway, this is your boy Nightcrawler Ray Ray, aka the Rooster. Uh, once I get it all cleaned up, I'm gonna hit you back. Peace. I wanted, to just show, I wanted to show this seat before I cleaned it. Like I said, this is the first time that I've had on the truck, so it's really not that bad, but I don't want it to get any worse, you know what I'm saying? So, this is the first time I ever had a dog on the truck with me, so I'm learning as I go, guys. But yeah. I just don't want to be that one walking around in the truck stop with all that dog hair on me and smelling like a dog and man y'all know how how some of these drivers is man they don't give a shit so yeah she done drooled all over the that gum all over the that gum that gum you know what i'm saying wish that i can't stop that so i just got to make sure that i clean it and even the window is all smudged up with her nose and all that stuff but this is actually her side over here so since my wife is not riding with me this is gonna be her spot I do not let her get on my bed nope the floor and this seat right here is all hers now in the beginning I was going to uh, let her have the, bo the bottom bunk and I was going to sleep up there. But I changed my mind. That's pretty much a storage space up there. Probably need to be straightened out a little bit, but I don't care about all that shit. But yeah. But right now, this is what we're doing. We're cleaning up. I got my side clean. You know what I'm saying? Because when I jump, when I get out the truck, do whatever I got to do. She's coming over here sitting in, in this seat, watching me. So yeah, gotta clean that door off. I just got through vacuuming this seat right here. So I gotta find a way, probably find me a seat cover to put on here. But yeah, that's what I do not want, to have a whole bunch of hair. And I guess as long as I keep keep on the truck with me, I'm about to keep my um, old shop back too so I might put that shop back up there in the corner somewhere Okay, 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 okay. Better turn that down. But yeah, that's the after. So we don't want this seat to look no worse than this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, probably put that sheet on there. I'm gonna tie it. Maybe put some plastic or something around. I don't know. I guess that's the way it goes when you got a shed and dog in your, in your truck. Anybody out there that uh, that ride with their dog and uh, can identify with what I'm going through with the shedding and the fur all over the place, 
Uh, let me know what you're doing and to prevent all of that. I may just have to keep her off the truck, right? That looks good. Took the uh, sheet and stuff off my bed, cleaned up the floor. Did the inside of the windows. Haven't done anything on the outsides yet. Gotta go through a, a truck wash. Yep. This is your boy Nightcrawler Ray Ray, aka the Rooster, aka your old school junkie, aka Mr. Tony Vlogs. And we'll get back with y'all. Peace.